Hey, this is Kevin Ward with MixCoach.com. I put this little video together today so that I could show you what I think is the easiest way to teach you to get to the next level with your mixing skills. Do you ever wish that someone with just a little more experience or maybe just someone with a different perspective in mixing would just open up and show you all the shortcuts, all the hacks, all the tricks that they know? I know I have and I found that people like that they're really hard to find. Now I've been mixing for well over 20 years and I can't remember all the stats but I'm sure that I've mixed over a thousand records. I've also had close to 40 top 40 songs including a few number ones and I've been nominated for several awards and I've won a few including a dove for producing. But I'm not really here to talk about me what I do want to talk about is what I've learned over the last 20 years and how I can give you that information to help you along with your mixing. I've learned that no matter where you are on this mix journey, you know, trying to learn to mix better, that there's always something new to learn. There's always new things to learn. I've personally learned shortcuts from people with a lot less experience than I have, and I've taught guys tricks that have been mixing a lot longer than me. Whether you're a Grammy award-winning engineer, or just an enthusiast who just got your first Pro Tools rig, I believe that the information that I have in this video can help you along the way. I actually started my first studio in my old apartment in an extra bedroom with a walk-in closet serving as the vocal booth so I know what it's like to work on a shoestring budget. About a year later I rented a small office space down on Music Row and I just kept on trying to you know over deliver to my clients until you know they just were in love with what I did. So a few years after that I moved to uh, Murfreesboro and I moved my studio into my house and uh, business has pretty much been booming ever since. I love to mix but the one thing I love to do more than mix is to teach and to encourage other people to learn to mix too. It's my passion. I've lost count of how many people that have worked with me in my studio and then like been so inspired when they left that they started their own studio and then they call me and ask me for advice and stuff and I love that. I always tell my production clients and my assistants and my interns that the difference in a good record and, the, and a great record is the sum of all the small things that you do. It's nothing big. It's all the small things. If it was a big thing then everybody would do it, but it's not. It's a bunch of small things. That's why I want to tell you about this new video uh, mix series that I've got called Workflow Mixing. Um, it's full of the little small things that you do uh, that can help you to improve what you do. Uh, if you're a mixer or if you're a recording engineer, it, it, it's designed to help you improve those things. Here's just a few of the small things that I've kind of put into place over the last 20 years. Uh, on the video, I'll start by showing you the plugins that I use and um, I didn't want you to have to go out and buy a bunch of plugins that I have because I've got a lot of money invested in them but I wanted uh, to just show you what you can do with the standard stock plugins and Pro Tools. Also in the video I'll show you that uh, I'll show you my I.O. setup and, uh, and then I'll give you a sneak peek at my uh, customized windows, my mix window, my edit window. I'll show you some ways to make other engineers trust your work by just creating your own system of labeling sessions and making things easy to find. We'll take a good long look at phase alignment and, uh, and how adjusting the phase can tighten up drums, bass, and even piano. I'll show you a few things that, I, that I've developed called uh, mixing backwards and something that I call mixing for the moms. I know it sounds weird, but it's a, I literally call it mixing for the moms. You can outsmart your ears. And uh, another thing I'll show you is how to make sure that the person that you're mixing for is happy with what you do almost all the time. I also have a bonus video that will show you how to edit vocals in Melodyne, not just to fix pitch, but also to make the vocalist sound a little cooler. And I'll show you how to avoid the credit that you don't want and neither does your client for that matter. I can guarantee that the things that I'll teach you in the video, if you apply them, you'll never be overwhelmed with a mix again. The cool thing about the video is that it's not just a tips and tricks video, it's total workflow. We'll go from opening the session for the first time and seeing the files with nothing done to them, and I'll take you through uh, setting up the buses, setting up reverbs, EQs, compressors, and, and routing. 
By the time we get to the end of this video, you'll know not only how to mix, but even how to save 30 minutes per song just by the way you print it, just by the way you lay it down when you're done. I'll also show you in the bonus videos how you can save another half an hour for uh, songs two, three, four, and so forth and so on, how you can save a half an hour just by importing and exporting your mix templates. Uh, now you can take 20 years to learn this stuff like I did, uh, gather up all the information and ask questions and things, but what I'm offering is to let you look over my shoulder and, and uh, let you see what I do on a daily basis. I'm going to be teaching things in this video that you won't even learn in a four-year university that teaches recording. I'll cover the things that aren't in the textbooks, uh, the things that I had to figure out on my own. I've always been the kind of person who seeks out more experienced people to teach me and the fact that you're watching this video tells me that you're the same way and I appreciate people like that. It lets me know that you're interested in lifetime learning even if it costs a little extra money. Now you can take a week to mix a song if you'd like to but what I've discovered is that working hard does not equal a better mix. Education and practice makes a better mix experience makes a better mix and what I'm offering you is a 20-year head start on the experience I'm genuinely interested in getting people where they want to go I'm interested in people actually more than I am mixing that's why I made this series of workflow videos nothing would thrill me more than for you to watch the workflow mix series learn something practice it apply it and then succeed with it now I think the workflow mix series is pretty well produced but it's not one of those animated super slick videos that just basically puts the Pro Tools manual in video format the workflow mix series is the equivalent of you sitting beside me in the studio and letting me coach you for four hours straight don't worry though I'm not gonna sell you a video and then just hope that you do okay I'm also going to follow up with you in, uh, in a few weeks and see how you're doing to see what else you may need to offer more help if you need it. Like I said, I'm interested in your success. I guarantee that when you watch the workflow mixing videos, you'll notice a difference in the way that you mix the very next time you mix. You'll know where to start and you'll know when you're finished. Um, you'll have my system working for you. The best thing yet, your clients will notice the difference. They'll notice the difference in your confidence level, and they'll notice the difference in your workflow, and they'll notice the difference in the quality of your mix. I'm even offering for you to have the original Pro Tools sessions that I mixed with. Having the Pro Tools sessions will allow you to open up the very first session that I started with, and also open up the very last session that I printed. It'll allow you to listen to and study the subtle differences of these little things that I mentioned earlier. So go ahead and buy the videos, buy the Pro Tool sessions too, they're worth it. And you can literally be improving your mix within the next few minutes. If you don't agree with me that this transforms your workflow, just email me and I'll refund all your money. I know it's crazy, but I'm that sure that it'll work for you. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Here's to your success, and I'll see you on the first workflow mix video. Bye.